Now we're on the reel. Let's test out this drag. Look at the, there we go. See, this is nice, man. Finally. Welcome back, y'all. <laughs> you guys have been seeing a lot of this store lately. Yes, we're back at Shields. Uh, I think you may have seen on that recent fly fishing video where we broke out this $40 Fluger fly combo kit that it, uh, it broke on us. And so we're gonna see about a little exchange. Hopefully they'll offer me a return. It was literally just yesterday that I purchased it, fished last night, broke it, and uh, we're back here today. I'm gonna see if they'll let me trade up. Uh, what I would like to do is showcase another product for you guys today, another fly rod and reel combo potentially. And uh, you know, this was 40 bucks, so if they will allow me to essentially return it or exchange it, then I'll probably only have to spend another 40 to get this next combo, which should be another tier up. It might even be, I think it was the Shields brand. Uh, typically when you go and purchase like the, the store brand itself, you save a couple bucks. And so we might test that thing out before we go ahead and show you guys our, uh, well, we got something in store for you. We got a more expensive rod and reel combo coming, but let's check out the budget stuff first. So we're gonna walk into Shields, see if we can get this thing exchanged and hopefully do some creek fishing before we gotta go pick up the young pup he just got neutered today. So, got a couple hours, let's roll. Okay, we hit customer service and they gave us the green light. So it looks like we're gonna get 40 bucks back towards the next thing we're gonna purchase. Always uh, amazing when you come through here and check out the little aquarium they got going. Also, we got, it's like, it's like the circus in here, man. They got everything. We're literally about to walk up to the firearm section, which is probably five times the size of our house. And then we'll make it to the fishing section and try and find a new fly compost. So our fly fishing journey began just recently, like literally a week and a half ago maybe, <laughs> with the $30 combo uh, kit from Academy. Woo! Yes! Then we thought we were gonna up the ante and almost do a little comparison and also try out this Fluger one, 40 bucks from Shields. Well, we did that. Rod and it ended up snapping on us. Now we're stepping it up just a little bit more. And like I said, I think this combo is maybe a hundred bucks or less. So let's see what we're in for. Also, we're definitely picking up some more of those lures, the Klaus or Minnows. These things crushed it yesterday. Definitely gonna get some more of those. Okay, so basically, there's this Finwick kit, which is $99.99. I don't think I'm gonna get this one, but they do have it. Complete fly fishing outfit. So it's got the backing, it's got all the goods. It says ideal for trout and bass. Apparently, it's the same brand that broke on us yesterday. Or we're gonna go with this one over here, which I believe is the Shields brand. It says Shields, it's literally only $10 cheaper. And it doesn't look like it comes with, does it come with a rod tube? I'm gonna have to break these things down real quick. Give them a little look over. I think they're all five weights. So with that being the case, yeah, see here's one for 160. It's a Shields branded one and they've got an eight weight as well. But I didn't necessarily come here to spend 160. We got other stuff in the works. I think I just wanna step it up to maybe like this 90 to $100 tier and see what happens. Now I do think this thing looks like a, it does look pretty schnazzy. All right, so it's between Shields or the Fluger, which is what we broke yesterday, but like the next tier up in their lineup. So let me think this through. Uh, well, okay, special surprise. We ended up spending a little extra. <laughs> I'll tell you more in just a second. All right, y'all, where do we start? We bought a new kit. I know you've been seeing us fish with the uh, Martin combo, the $40 deal we got from Academy for a while. Well, we stepped it up today. Here's what we got. The Eco Base Kit, or would it be Echo? It's a nine foot rod. This is a six weight, so should be pretty fun. We've been using that like kind of five dash six weight rod, but uh, yeah, wait till you see this thing right here. It's four piece and the reel itself is like goes for 90 bucks if I'm not mistaken. So we're really stepping things up as far as the price and uh, hopefully the performance. So first and foremost, Devin and I want to both get full combos, right? So if we're both going out here spending these major fly fishing bucks because everything is so gosh darn expensive, uh, we'll be broke. So <laughs> we're probably going to start off with some budget combos like this, kind of move up in the tiers as we start uh, getting more and more familiar with what we want, essentially what we like in a fly fishing rod or reel. And this will be the first time fishing an official six weight because these budget five slash six weight rods I think are kind of a little they're flimsy who knows if their ratings are true to form and so anyways we got this kit right here check this out man it comes with its own carrying case hard shell in case we want to do some traveling with it it is gonna be the creek destroyer and we might hit some creeks today but I'm actually at a pond I'm very excited to fish there is so many bluegill and bass right behind us it is ridiculous and then I think there's also some other species of fish that live in here that we might be able to target but check this guy out look at this reel 
Finally, a good drag system we're gonna have. Check this out. It doesn't make noise when you reel it in. All the ones I've used so far, the fly reels have, uh, they've made that drag noise even when you reel them in, which is fine, but I want you all to hear me and our interactions whenever we're fighting those fish versus just all this clicking. I love that it's gonna be clicking when the fish take it, right? So if they're, if they're running, you're definitely gonna hear that drag sound. But when we're reeling, which is important to me for audio, there's no noise. So that is pretty cool with this echo reel. Uh, and so with that, and so it looks like this is their echo base and it's going for six to eight weight rust. So this reel is a little bit larger as well than some of the others we've had, which is great because hopefully uh, the gear ratio obviously is going to be different if that's what they call it in the fly world. And so you should be bringing in more line for a full turn of the handle. Now the rod, is looking money. I gotta go ahead and cut off this plastic from the cork, but finally some decent quality cork on one of these rods. Also, the reel seat seems to be more metal, not plastic, like the ones we've used so far. So an all-around step up, and I mean the rod quality I can already tell is much better. There's even some indicators here so that you line up all your pieces when you, uh, there's some dots that you line up as you piece the rod together, which we'll showcase real quick. So we've got the rest of the rod right here, and there's different sleeves for each piece, that way they're not bumping up against each other during travel. Wait till y'all see the before and after of this versus the one we've been using. Golly, this it just feels it just feels nice. And it's not even like super expensive. And by the way, we are thinking, just based on the long conversation I had with the fly fishing manager over at Shields, going with a TFO next. I believe it's the top is it the top fly fishing combo in the country, he said? The TFO, I think it's the NXT to well, maybe it's the black series gosh dang it i'm i'm lost but regardless uh, a tfo combo might be in our near future it goes for a little over 200 bucks so there you go you can see these dots right here hopefully and uh, that shows you that you've got everything in line and i've heard that some rod and reels the alignment is slightly off even with the dots so uh, let's hope these ones line up nicely do i have the tip no this is the next section nine foot rod so this is like twice my size going for the last section here all right we are all pieced together now i don't have no flies come with this kit and i don't believe oh wow oh it actually has tippet tied on already never mind i thought this might not come with leader but it looks like it has leader or tippet already installed i'm sure i could look at the packaging and tell you exactly what but all i need to know is that i've got something to tie a bait to straight away so if i could just get this clear packaging tape off the line i think we're going to be all set and i brought the flies that i've purchased from shields as well as gotten in the kits from these other fly combos uh, right here in this tackle box so we are going to have some flies what are the, what in the world man i can't imagine how good casting is going to feel with this a quality i keep saying quality the quality is higher than we have used, so I'm gonna say quality. <laughs> With a better quality combo. Ooh man, what are the fights gonna be like on this reel? Yep, this tippet goes to like zero pound test. Perfect. So there we go. Last time you're gonna see this thing brand new. Taking off that tippet right there, I'm gonna start putting it through the eyelets. I love the lime green fly line. Easy to see on the water surface. Black reel, just super clean. So what we're gonna do now is rig up, start fishing. Hopefully we can tell you some differences between this and the starter kits we've been purchasing a lot recently. I mean the very budget-friendly starter kits. Let's do it. I think I'm just gonna choose one of these microscopic guys to get started, just to go for some bites. One weekend, this is our third combo. Maybe two weeks in. Then again, we are starting very cheap. Here's some more of those Klauser minnows we stocked up on. I mean, those things are bass catching machines. We gave it a few casts, but believe it or not, the panfish are kind of finicky over here. <laughs> They're spoiled, man. Everyone feeds them food with good scent, and I'm over here with unscented flies. Anyways, we're going to resume this in just a minute. I got to go pick up the pup, take him home, and then we'll uh, we'll get back out and hit the water. We're going to catch him. Look at the weather change up, y'all. Holy smokes. We grabbed Finn from the vet, took him home, and let me tell you what, it looks like it's bite season, baby. It's a little breezy. A storm is rolling in. Looks like 50% chance of rain here at 9 p.m. It is like 5.20. Sunset is around 7 o'clock now. So we got an hour and a half to two hours to really test this brand new combo out at another spot. Hopefully today we get our biggest fish ever on the fly combo and it's going to be on the new one with better drag. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second. I'm excited about this one. 
Devin's gonna like this one too, black and green. Perfect color scheme. But uh, this could be the ticket for the big one right here. There we go, fish on, fish on, good bass. That's what we're talking about. First one on this combo. Come on. Is it a bass? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's a nice bass. Okay, there we go. Yes, on the Klauser minnow. Come on. He's wanting to take us a little bit. There we go. Now we're on the reel. Let's test out this drag. Look at the, there we go. See, this is nice, man. Finally, some decent drag. Yes, I don't have to just, I don't have to have my hand on the reel. And it's starting to rain. What a scenario. Here we go, y'all. Come on. Fighting them on the reel. This is exactly what I wanted, but those budget kits, they just have such light drag. You can't do this. And this is on, it's still on light. I haven't got it cranked up at all. Hopefully this rain passes, because look at it over there. I was hoping to catch a lot of fish today. Oh, 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 don't you do it, don't you do it. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Nice fish out here, y'all. All right, we're gonna try and flip them up. Actually, I should, I should bring them over here. Get down on his level since I don't have a net. This would be the ideal scenario. This is sick. Okay, by far, favorite combo. That's all I'm saying. So far, we are loving this thing. Let's go. Let's go. How sick is this, dude? First fish on the new combo. Come on, can we bring it home? And he's got that Klauser minnow choked. All right, let's see. Did I wear you out enough? Got him. Sick. Sick. Barely hooked, top of the mouth hook set. Let's get some more. Mm, it's a good day. Yes, man. Coolest thing ever. I don't know if the bite's gonna be too hot with all this going on, honestly. That turtle's still chilling on the surface. You think they're just amped up right now or you think they're turned off? Oh man, I did really not bring any rain gear. I thought this wasn't supposed to be here until 9 p.m. Got an idea, yeah, hmm, might not work. Always gotta be thinking about audio after the rain. 30% chance right now, then it drops down to 10% for the next couple hours. Man, these totally changed. There we go, fish on. All right, little buddy. At least we know they'll hit in the rain. Oh, what was it? Was it a bass? I think it was. I think it was. That's a good sign. I fish in the rain a lot down here, and I'll tell you what, it usually turns them off, but maybe I just should have been fishing flies for the last five years, three years, two years, however many it's been, four years. One year, I don't know. Oh, fish on, wait, just kidding. Think there's anything behind us in like inches of water? Fish, oh wow. What on earth are you doing, sir? See ya. Maybe there's more, whoops, kind of messed that one up, didn't I? F that one up. I think it's time for the top water. Oh, got him. Oh, gosh. That's a good one. Oh yes, top water. Come on. Come on. Oh, pulling on the wrong line. That'll happen. Oh wow. Don't you do it. Nice. Top water. First one on the popper, man. That's what we're talking about. He's gonna get us in all this stuff. We really need to no, 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 we don't need to do that. We really need to bring you over here. Would you be so kind as to walk this way? Look at you go. Look, see, that's what we want. Come on in here now. Come on in here. Not over there. Bad. Bad fish. There we go. Top water hit. Oh gosh. These fish are so warm. It's like nice and cold out after this rain. This water is hotter than the ambient temps outside. 
it literally feels like a jacuzzi. That was sick. That wasn't one of those top water explosions, but more of kind of like a slurp. We'll take it. Top water after the storm turned out to not be such a bad idea. I don't know if this is how fly fishermen do it, but we're not really a fly fisherman, are we? Oh, oh gosh darn. Oh, 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 it's a little fish. That's what it is. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. That was a bass. Not what we like to see. What I'm intending to do if I'm just like kind of moving down the bank, in case this is valuable intel for any of y'all, is I uh, pull the line to where the fly line is just outside of the last rod tip there, the eyelet, I'm sorry. That way I'm like kind of good to cast when I get to the next spot. And I've got a lot of line let out and sometimes I just kind of go wide with the arms and kind of carry it all. Sometimes I've got a little bit more than this out, obviously, or, or many times, and so I'll reel a little bit in, but that way I don't have to pull as much line out against the drag when I get to the next spot and I'm kind of ready to go. If I'm making a big move, then I'll just go ahead and I'll, you know, I'll reel it all in. And I'll just uh, whip that a little bit, take out a little line if I need to, whip it, and then I can grab the bait and toss it on the, uh, the old hook holder here. So, the problem is when I would do this with those last combos, the drag was so light it wouldn't even hold it. It would just, the line would just come free and then your bait could get loosened. But the drag on this one's actually like substantial. So like it'll actually hold the line tight and keep your bait on the hook keeper, which is what it's there for. Got him, little guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, oh, well, okay. Y'all, what a day out there on the new unexpected combo purchase. We had an absolute blast. Yes, we got rained on a little bit, but we were able to secure a couple catches and test out that reel's drag. Probably the most exciting feature for me, aside from the fact that it's just way quality over what we had been using. And yet, there's still so many tiers above it, so we got a lot to look forward to. More fly content is coming your way very soon, and, and Finn is looking pretty upset. Hey, you good? I know you're not happy. I think you only gotta wear this for like two weeks, so. I guess get used to it. Anyways, we'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace out.